today we'll be going back to one of very special artists, Mia Shita Yu, and the song Kilma. This is one of the highly requested songs that a lot of you guys have asked me to check out. But I gotta say, man, I've not been checking out Mia Shita Yu for a long time, and I've always been meaning to go back to it. Dude's just just another level the way he delivers his vocal performance and as well as the musical arrangement. So I can't wait to get onto it. Someday I'm thinking of doing a whole Mia Shita Yu reaction week, and as well as finding out why is that dude having so little subscribers in his own YouTube channel. Well, someday we'll find out. For now, let's get on to the lyrics. So this song was produced by Niru Kajitsu. Oh, that's a Vocaloid P that a lot of you guys have mentioned about. So this is his song. Okay, and the lyrics, it seems like it's a story about the girls being tortured and in slavery. And I wonder if the story is describing someone who is trapped in the underground scene in Japan in terms of like blackmailing girls to do something. Slavery. Seems like this poor woman's life is getting ruined. Sometimes we know, but we don't know how much of a human trafficking is really going on. And sometimes these people are probably just next to us. So we're going to check out a music video and it's going to share us the story even much more. So subscribe and like this video because Jojo's Bizarre Opening Music Reaction Podcast and Artwork Week at 7,000 subs. So subscribe now. Gusto Fiba! English caption will be playing the video that I'll be watching, but you guys won't be able to see it here, unfortunately, due to editing. So, Mia Shita Yu, Kyoma, here we go. Wuma. Seen a couple of Wuma movies now. Nice instrument, yo. Very nice. his own harmony. Wow, he even plays the role of the character. The way he sings both sides. The storytelling in this song, man. Back to the gun again. By the way, the music is insane, but I'm just watching get a captive waiter by the story. Character. Wow, is this part of a bigger story? Oh man, you see the innocence and the smile at the end.
First of all, music-wise, insane. I don't even know what instrument that they use. Is it really guitar? The speed of song, perfect for this story. Miyashita used vocal performance, godly. The way he portrayed the characters by singing two different lines, and not just an acting, but just the tonal changes in the voice, the different registers to play the guy part and the girl part. You can hear every sound that he exhaled to make. It all fits the story very well. Now, meanwhile, in the story, made by Wuma, crazy. It does make me think about Ado a lot. Even when it bleeds over to Ado's side, you still feel that intensity. I really love all the illustrators that are in the scene. They're equally as important as the artists themselves. I really like the flashback where the girl after killing the guy thinks about the mom, but unfortunately right now she is where she's at and there's no going back. And sometimes, now even though if you have finally wiped out all the mess that you have done, you can never go back because the trauma, the history, the experience, your eyes will gaze what's in front of you, but it will never be the same. I guess this is where when you see so many mess up things, your life's perspective changes. So the part where she finally turns around she smile man that's a past that she can never go back to people just get caught into this kind of stuff that's why you hardly hear victims of human trafficking coming back to society they somehow ended up back there because that's the life that they're used to while well, i've gone too far this is an amazing storytelling amazing vocal performance and as well as amazing production and i'm so glad i finally got back to miyashita you let me know if i should do a miyashita you reaction week recommend me any other japanese music that you think i should be checking out so subscribe and like this video because jojo's bizarre opening music reaction podcast and artwork week at 7,000 subs. So subscribe now.